So we've looked at closing the gap this week and we've identified the key areas that are bullet pointed on the left of the screen. So you should have looked at an expected and unexpected life event. Do you remember what they are? Could you give me a list of them? Along with that, we've found out that which ones are physical events, which ones are relationship changes, which ones are life circumstances, how people deal with those life events, how they adapt to those life events and who can support them during those changes. Now, the ones that are in purple are the only ones that will change dependent on which life event you have picked. So if you've picked a death of a relative, then that's under relationship changes because you are going through a bereavement. If you've picked a life circumstance such as moving house, then you would write in life circumstances. If you've picked COVID, that would be classed as a physical event. And if they die because of COVID, then that would be classed as a relationship change. Right, it's your turn now to put this information all into practice. Now, you can either pick one of the three scenarios that I've given you on the screen, or you may have identified your own, which I did ask you to originally, but some of you I know are struggling to think of a life event that a family member has been through. So I've given you three choices to pick one. So pick one of those, or get your own out so you know what to do next. So I picked Sam and Julie. So Julie lost her dad to COVID. So as you can see, I've drawn a table. This table includes everything that we have covered so far on this course. So the life event is unexpected because Julie lost her dad to COVID. Sam lost his father-in-law. They've had a relationship change because they've been through a bereavement. Then I need to identify how it's affected them physically, intellectually, emotionally and socially. So I've identified some areas there that have got question marks next to them. But I would need to explain why those areas are affected because of losing a parent. Then dealing with the life events. How did Julie cope during the time that she lost her dad? And how did Sam cope? Not only did he lose his father-in-law, but he's also trying to support Julie and his family. So you would need to explain how they dealt with that life event. The next one is adapting to change. How did they adapt to the big change of losing Julie's dad? So what sort of things may they have done, gone through to help deal with losing her father? And the last one on the list is support. Who could have supported her? And you need to identify something from each area, formal, informal, voluntary and faith based. And who supported Sam? Somebody would have needed to have supported Sam. Now, I know that this is a made up case today, but you would need to find out the answers to show that you understand how the unexpected or unexpected life event can affect somebody's physical, intellectual, emotional, social well-being, how they would deal with that life event, how they would adapt to it and who could support them within that time. So have a go. Think about how you would answer those questions and make some notes. So coursework is going to start after the holidays. Have you picked your own life event that you're going to talk about? So have you picked an expected or unexpected life event that two people have been through? An example would be a birth of a child and person A could be the mom and how she got through pregnancy and birth. And then person B could be the dad, how he coped, how he's got on. Or are you picking one of mine? You need to decide. It is easier if you do your own life event because you can look at the physical, intellectual, emotional and social side and ask the people that it affected. You will also be able to ask them how they coped, how they adapted and who supported them. If you are picking mine, you will have to make up that information, which can be a little bit more difficult. As I said, coursework write-up will start after the holidays and I will give you more information then. If you've missed any lessons or you're stuck on anything that we've looked at so far, please go back and have a look on folder, health and social care, year 10, unit 1B, and that will help guide you a little bit more. Otherwise, please message me on class charts and I will be able to help you.